to state symbols. A chemical equation does not give us a complete information about the states of the reactants and products. Let's know about the state symbols which provide us with more information on the physical states. We have a set of notations to represent the states. Gas is represented by G within parentheses. Liquid is represented by L within parentheses. Aqueous by AQ within parentheses. And solid by S within parentheses. Aqueous means that the reactant or the product is present as solution in water. Let's look at an example of iron rusting. 3Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Here iron is solid, so we write S within parentheses beside iron. Water reacting with iron is actually moisture, so we represent it as G within parentheses. The powdery substance formed is iron oxide, which is solid, and hydrogen gas is liberated. We can add additional information to the chemical equation by specifying the reaction conditions. This can indicate pressure, temperature, or catalyst, and is written above or below the arrow mark. We have another example. Carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen forming methyl alcohol or methanol at a pressure of 340 atmospheres. Carbon monoxide is gas. Hydrogen is also gas. The product methanol is liquid. The pressure is indicated above the arrow mark that is 340 atmospheres. Let's now try with the famous photosynthesis equation. Carbon dioxide in water gives glucose, oxygen in water in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll. Here, carbon dioxide is in aqueous form, water is liquid, and the products glucose and oxygen are in aqueous state. Water is in liquid state. Now we can rewrite the conditions in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Can you write state symbols for magnesium burning in air forming magnesium oxide? Thank you.